I've, I've, you know, c come this far in two years where a lot of uh, life changes have happened. My career has uh, moved from me just as a beginner to somebody who's still beginning in a lot of ways, but uh, with a lot more experience now. I've always made pop songs where I've written like love songs and all of that stuff. And this was a move away from all of that. Um, I wanted to tell people about my journey. And that's something that, you know, being in the hip hop scene, per se, had helped me understand how to actually write about your own feelings and your own self. And I think one of those days I was just too overwhelmed about everything. And I decided to uh, write this song. So the song is basically about that. It's about me going through an entire anxious breakdown where I start from the day and I'm the happiest person ever. And as, as, the, as the song keeps going and I become the saddest person ever where I'm, you know, just questioning my own self and wanting to give up. And, uh, you know, I think every musician goes through that emotion almost daily, so. Hi guys, this is Bharg and I'm at in club. I'm going to decipher my song Tujh Mein Nahi Hai. Ka karunga main ab kya? Bita lamha bita gaya, shit's all in the past. Aake pal gaya hun tu na aise vakt pe kaad. Jaane na te na. So this is me talking to myself only saying ki what will I do talking about anything over here? But, but, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter, right? What, what's been in the past, it's, it's, it's gone and there's no point thinking about it, you know, sometimes uh, you would just walk and you'd think about situations where you could have acted different. But in, in reality, there's no point thinking about it all. You've already learned from it. So you should just move ahead with it. So that and Be wafa na ho tu apne aap se Sach na chipta hai ladke rasta na pale Lamba ye safar hai manzil hai nahi paas mein Jaane na te na Same, be true to yourself and uh, you, where you want to go is not that close. And I don't think you'll ever be close to where you want to be. So, you know, don't let it go. And don't be dishonest to yourself. I have a mic on this mic. The music is so tight. The album is my classic. The blue print is on all sides. Now, this is me reassuring myself that I'm the shit, right? Um, and um, I've, I've worked my ass off in the past two years. Not even those two years. Yeah. I've been making music since I was in class seventh. Today, whatever I do is a culmination of all those 10 years plus of making music that has led me to here. So it's not easy. It's not as if two years suddenly I've come. I've been lucky where Sabjaye, I, I personally feel that it is a classic. I think it defined a time and a sound where people weren't just doing things that in, in that scene that like that. Nobody was making a hip hop, pop, indie all together in, a, in an album and giving it out like that. We, we made sure it will, be, it will be the most versatile album people have heard. And for that year it was so. People have always asked me, how did you guys do that? You know, when Jungle Kutta came out, it went out of the ball. Yeah. It, it was, just went rocket. Um, and, and we were so, we were surprised. We'd never seen those numbers. Sab Chie, when it came out, Ra Raval had put out this story um, where numbers were increasing every one second, like, like anything. 20, 30, 40, 50, like this. I was counting and it was increasing. And we'd never seen that. And people asked us, how is it that you managed? We've been asked that question a lot of times. How did you manage that? We don't know. It was, it was just the fact that we, you know, worked our ass off and we did what we wanted to. So that's how it worked. So, Banani badi abhi life hai, maa baap ko deni ek smile hai, khada mein khudi ke pair pe, par juto ke daam mein rise hai. I still have to make a lot of money. I still have to go, I have to, you know, go really far in my career. I have to do a lot better in my career. I have to make more songs, better songs. Um, I want my parents to be more and more proud of me as much as they can be. Yes, they are proud of me even now, but that's something in every, every child wants that. I've, I stand on my own feet, but every time I do stand on my feet, the shoes, the price of my shoes is increasing. Jo kehte the ye hobby chhod de tu beta, unko main kahunga ki ab kyu? Jab lakhon mein ye listeners hain aur tere bachche fan mere. So basically like a lot of people are like, are you doing music? Oh beta, a lot of uncles come in and are like, beta tu gaane kar raha hai and I'm like, ha and they're like, oh, uske ilawa kya kar rahe ho? Saath mein? Music ke saath? I'm not like, I'm not doing music with music. I'm, I'm doing music for this. Uh, I, I do music professionally. I'm a professional at it. This is my bread and butter. This is how I earn money. This is, uh, everything is from this money. And then they ask their kids about me and their kids know me. This entire first half of this song is where I'm just very positive. I'm feeling great. This is not me being overconfident, but this is just me being positive about my own self. And from here on, I take a deep hit. And I start talking about, now I go into a spiral where I start thinking too much about my life. 
एंड देन इट गोज डाउन लाइक नया आया था मैं सीन में पैक्स बहुत भेजे मैंने बीट्स के इग्नोर करते रह गए ईगो ढी टी रहते अब ये सारे मेरे डीएम्स में सब चे केम आउट नाउ आई एम आई एम बींग आज टू प्रोड्यूस फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ अदर पीपल हु आई डी एम डन दिन जस्ट डिन गिव अट आई मीन स्पोकन टू पीपल फेस टू फेस सेंड दैम ई मेल्स देव सेट देर रिप्लाई नेवर हैव फेर दैट्स ऑल राइट इट्स नॉट एज इफ इट्स देर प्रॉब्लम आई एम जस्ट सेंग हे आई आई कम दिस फार शुरू थी स्मूथ नहीं पैसों के लिए गाने गाए बहुत कहीं समय बाद मिला मुझे चांस सही रावल एक्स बर्ग हाउस उन नाम अभी अफकोर्स अ लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल ओवर हेयर दे डोंट हैव पेरेंट्स फ्रॉम म्यूजिक बैकग्राउंड एंड ऑल आई केम फ्रॉम अ वेरी डिफरेंट सीन फ्रॉम इन कॉलेज रॉक म्यूजिक सीन था वहाँ पे कॉयर वॉयर होता था एंड वेन आई केम हेयर आई वॉज वॉल्टियरिंग लेफ्ट राइड एंड सेंटर आई यूज टू बी एट दिफरेंट शोज उनके बार्स में जाके एल्कोहल सर्व करता था लोगों को ये सब उससे जस्ट टू गेट इन टू अ रूम I I didn't know how to earn money, so I was doing commercial gigs where I was going to clubs and playing songs, and I was singing other people's songs and covers, and I was doing that, and that's how I was earning my little bit of money that I used to get, so that my parents could see that, yeah, लड़का कुछ कर रहा है, he's trying to work. Then after some time, I got my first chance, and Rawal X Bharg became a household name today. लिया था gap, parents की deal, music चला नहीं तो law की degree, गलतियाँ की, anxiety भी थी, पर आप ही के दुआ से album kill की. Basically, like I took a gap year. I was supposed to do law. I took a gap year. I said I want to do um, music. My parents said, "Sure, this is your year. If you if you do music, that's great. If something works out, go ahead. Otherwise, you'll have to come back and do law, because fair, yeah, that's practical reality of life." And galtiya ki, I made a lot of mistakes. I was very anxious, still am. But because of like you guys, the album did well. It wasn't just us. Uh, we were we were we were two we were two musicians who just wanted to make music and very selfishly. But I think. सब चीज़ें को प्रेजेंस दिया लोगों ने वी वॉन्ट यू आर अ वेरी स्मॉल पार्ट ऑफ इट या दैट्स हाउ आई थिंक ऑल म्यूजिशन शुड थिंक एंड बी लाइक कि वी आर वी वेरी स्मॉल पार्ट्स ऑफ आर ओन प्रोजेक्ट बिकॉज दैट प्रोजेक्ट गेट्स मोर मीनिंग एज इन वैन मोर पीपल गेट अटैच टू इट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट आई एम हेयर टूडे डूइंग दिस इंटरव्यूज बिकॉज यू गाइज वर हियरिंग मी एंड नाउ यू गाइज एव थाट दैट आई एम यू नो वर्द इनफ टू सिट हेयर एंड डू डू शूट विद यू गाइज और आज एक स्टूडियो ड्रीम गिटार चांद पर बैठे पर बनना है स्टार देखा नहीं पीछे बट आई मिस दो डेज छोटे थे हम स्ट्रेस नहीं सा ज्यादा खेलते थे फुटबॉल और पढ़ते थे मांगा साउंड नहीं दी सीन को चौड़ा नहीं ज्यादा टुडे आई हैव अ स्टूडियो ऑफ माई ओन आई हैव माई ड्रीम गिटार आई बॉड ऑफ एंडर टेलीकास्टर ऑल इज वॉन्टेड टू बाई वन माई लिटरली माई गिटार माई ओल्डर गिटार वॉज अ सेवन थाउजेंड बक गिटार दैट वॉज जस्ट आई हेड बिन यूजिंग दैट सिंस क्लास नाइन्थ एंड उसी पर बॉम्बे सफायर बनाया मगन बनाया सब कुछ and then finally weekender happened i went to venice and weekend and i promised myself that this time i'll play on that stage because it was a dream stage for me i said i'll buy a new guitar for myself so i bought my dream guitar i have my studio i think i'm on the moon but i really want to reach the stars and everybody is on the moon for their own selves but they all want to reach the stars and dekha nahi piche and i don't look back but i miss those days when i was younger and you know there was not a lot of stress i used to only play football and read mangas and that's all i did my life was all about that I gave some. I gave the scene a new sound. I don't boast about it. I don't flex around it. I don't go around my Instagram stories and rant about what I've achieved and what I've not, because I'm yet to achieve a lot more. होते लो days you don't have to bother. बस चलते रहे भर डरना नहीं ज़्यादा. बस करते रहे मेहनत. और बोल दे जो दिल में. So from here things start going. As you can see, like things are going down and down and down. And this is where everything just goes. It's all done. I'm in a spiral. I'm I'm going down. I'm 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 going down the well. and um, my emotions are taking control of me and just just keep moving forward and this is what it says chalte rahe bhar darna nahi zyada bas karte rahe mehnat bol de jo dil mein shayad teri baatein real nahi pyare gaano mein koi feel nahi blue tick kahan teri deal gayi basically like just say what you want to say and maybe and this is this is me talking to myself and this is also what i've heard from other people talk about me ki iski baatein real nahi hai and iske ye kya pyare gaane banata rehta hai what is he talking about love and shit like that you know what is real in his life iske life mein kya struggle hai kya kiya hai isne you know that typical thing that validation of from blue tech and you know now that people are buying blue tech left right and center and um, industries are minting money off of that validation and it um, deals come and go because of that and people, you know i could have an, i could have engagement higher than somebody who has way more followers than me but that blue tech makes a huge difference sometimes like that shit shayad mujh mein koi kami hai 25 का होके तू यही है म्यूजिक छोड़ दे तुझ में नहीं है औकात छोटी पर सब चाहिए आई आई थिंक एवरी वीक आई टेल दिस माई सेल्फ टेल दिस टू माई सेल्फ की मे बी आई जस्ट डोंट हैव इट आई एम 25 इयर्स ओल्ड 
and i've yet to yet i've i've so much to achieve mbappe was 18 when he was doing crazy things you know things like those uh, <laughs> some of my some of my favorite musicians are so younger than i am so that impacts my head sometimes ki you know what work harder you need to you need to do better you you growing older you need to do more itna kya sab che sab che laga rakha hai tune tu hai kya so that is it that's the song that's tujh mein nahi hai and yeah this is the most uh, personal thing i've ever written that is going to come out of uh, has come from me this year at least so yeah my journey has been a roller coaster um i i thought it will be i didn't think there'll be a journey in the first place um then there was a journey now there is an ongoing journey and uh, it's been it's it's been very different it's been um very inspiring and um, it has taught me a lot i always loved uh, i think i always loved uh, watching uh, i loved reading mangas and watching anime and i always loved anime background music i think they've been some of my favorite things to watch and uh, you know whenever you'd watch any of the theme songs play and it just give you an energy i remember i used to play football back in the day when i was in school and um, i used to listen to the naruto theme song that's how i used to always do and, and i used to go and do jogs because i would hear that theme song so that ways i think um, it's been it's been like that i i i love pictures and their scores i love movie scores star wars movie scores was insane um lord of the rings movie scores was insane um so the dark knight score was insane you know harry potter had good theme that was great so all of these little influences here and there um i i did i did do theater in my college um so that was great because i got to experience um i was sitting with actors and then i had to create sonics according to them and that was a different ball game altogether that was just not me sitting down and creating a instrumental and me writing lyrics no that was me trying to um make their emotions um you know reach the audience sonically and that was difficult because those are just not your emotions you have to read the script you have to understand what's going on in the scene and then you have to make songs accordingly so that was a different experience altogether so i think those things have impacted me in certain ways but i think um, and and i also loved sketching always but uh, yeah i think i think those are the few other art forms that have really inspired me to go ahead and like or at least in the music that i do you always make music you pictureize things you always make music you always think of like movies and sketches that you can have around you know colors blah 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 i think uh, because of sabji i got a lot of different opportunities i got to work on other people's albums i recently did uh, sumayoki's album a message from the moon that was a great experience i've i've engineered a lot of projects i was a part of ikka bhai's album i did three songs there here and there i've been i've been working a lot as a producer i've grown a lot i've worked with more than just i've i've grown with other people i've i've done uh, worked with other artists other than ravel because ravel and i could think very similar sometimes um, most of the times so it was very easy to work with other people who don't uh, treat the sound the same way as ravel and i do was different and um, of course we are our own people people as well so i've i've learned so much lyrically from the hip hop music scene i'm not a hip hop guy per se i come from a very rock indie rock background pop background um so hip hop was a great influence in terms of teaching me how to write properly how to write better and whenever i do write and i try to make rhyme schemes and flows and all and i'm i'm trying to incorporate those inspirations more so that ways i've grown a lot um as an artist i've i've i've, phenom- I've grown phenomenally i think these are things that i would have never experimented when if subche didn't happen i wouldn't have sung on a song if um, and af- and after subche i wouldn't have had the ability to go ahead and write things better but because of because of and i wasn't writing in hindi i was not a guy who used to write in hindi back in college i started writing in hindi because it, it was the way to go and so just so many changes but mostly as a writer is where i felt that the biggest change came in as a vocalist and as a writer i've gained a lot more confidence to go ahead and do those things and that's why uh, my own solo music out is coming slowly um i have a couple of pop songs here and there i have a couple of songs with like a little bit of afro beats i've got like some really really pop out there songs i've got some songs with like some little bit of jazz influence and 
singer songwriter influence and live instruments rock songs i've got a song which is completely like full rock like guitar solos just shredding all of those things you know like a like a rock head would think like a guns and roses artist would go ahead and think like punk rock music all of those things and uh, some bossa nova bossa nova jazz drums going around with like some really funky grooves so a lot of different things i i this is the most i've given out on any platform but yeah i don't think i've i've missed out anything per se but yeah it's i hope that people are able to uh, connect to the sonics and the journey that i'm going to bring now i hope people accept the growth that i've had because uh, sab chahiye has a certain audience and uh, when my own projects come out it will not be sab chahiye and people i hope are able to accept the diverse nature that i have which i'm sure they will because uh, you know they they accepted sab chahiye also which was a very diverse album so that and shout out to uh, shout out to my brother rahul shout out to uh, you know shout out to yash raj he's a very close friend of mine so yeah those two people i think shout out to um, you know i have a lot of people to actually say uh, shout out to my manager aranya ka who helped me so much you know in in my two years of my career shout out to gali gang who i've worked with intensively shout out to sumai oki who's been who's been one of my biggest collaborators and one of my closest friends i've had so yeah shout out to these people who are there shout out to sasta acid uh, who's been there again at the start of my career shout out to anurag who's who made the videos for us when we started out so these are guys because of these are the guys because of whom i'm 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 better